Hello Internet, and thank you for coming back to watch another video where I teach you all about how to grow mushrooms. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to germinate spores by using a spore print and some agar dishes. I like to use a brand new blade whenever I'm going to be doing spore transfers, and the reason why is because spores are already very dirty, so I avoid any extra chances of contamination by using a brand new blade and of course my torch to heat it up. In this scenario I'm using a small rack to elevate the dishes so that I can have a more centered position from my flow hood to get the most sterile air. Now whenever I'm working with spores I try to be very careful about the order in which I do things so as you'll see I start by torching my blade again it is until it's red hot and then I'm gonna cool it down while I pull out the spore print. I don't want the spore print to be exposed to the air for too much time, because once again, the spores are already pretty dirty. So I'm trying to preserve the integrity of the spore print for as long as I possibly can. The prints I'm working with here are not very big, so I'm going to only take the amount that I need. I don't wanna to take too much, because I wanna be able to use this in the future in case this specific plate doesn't take off. Now I scrape very gently. I don't want to make the spores fly everywhere because it's a very thin piece of foil. You can't really see too well what the spores look like once they're scraped onto the surface. Since spores are microscopic, there might be small clumps I'll be able to show when I pull it up a little bit closer. You can see Kind of these small black dots, those are little clumps of spores that I was able to scrape off of the actual aluminum print. It's not a very complicated process, but I do try to be very clean, so I retorch the blade in between every transfer. I'm going to let the video play so you can see the rest of the transfers that I do here. There you have it. That's all of the plates that we'll be doing today. We're gonna seal them up by using some parafilm as we've shown in previous videos. I take uh, about a half square strip. That's long enough, uh, in my opinion, to be able to wrap a plate completely a couple of times around so it's very secure. And then just redo the process for every plate. I try to not go too long until I seal the plates. That way no contamination can come in through the seams but I work in front of my flow hood. I try to do it all in one go. I do want to mention I am not an expert in any means. I am only showing what I have learned and the process in which I do things. So if there are better methods in which you do some of these things, please leave it down in the comments. I'd love to learn new ways in which other mycologists do the processes that I've learned. But if you do have any questions, I do have my social media linked in my channel. Please give me a follow on Instagram or send any message if you have any inquiries about any of the processes that we just discussed. But I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Thank you again for joining me on another video on how to grow mushrooms and have a good one.